and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Soltai mid-range that we are going to be playing over in Mythic, even though this is a donation deck. Usually donation decks, I like to play them through a league and, you know, see how they do and everything. Uh, but with this donation, the viewer wanted to see the deck over in ranked. And it looks, you know, like this is a, just a really strong deck with a lot of really good cards. So I think it's, uh, you know, a deck that definitely deserves to be over there. So that's what we're going to try. Um, basically, we just got kind of all the best Sultai cards going on here. Um, you know, like we obviously we have, you know, the Oko, Nissa, Krasis, uh, part with Simic, you know, Gilded Goose in there as well. So, you know, like we're ramping up. And obviously, obviously, Oko is just amazing. But then we, we have, you know, like we're ramping up with the Nissa Krasis stuff. And then we have Black for Removal, Legion's End, Murderous Rider, Golgari Queen, Garrick. All of these cards can be used for removal. So that's what our Black is really doing for us. And then, of course, we got a couple of really good four drops. Wicked Wolf, Perrin with Oko and Gilded Goose and obviously Questing Beast. Yeah, this is just Soul Tide good stuff. That's what we got. So let's go ahead and play some games. And we're going to go on over here to Ranked with Soul Tide good stuff. And see how it does. Anyway, we've got new sub, Roger Butler. Thank you so much there, Roger. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the tier one sub. That's our eighth sub of the day. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this deck does look pretty good. We played a couple similar Sultai decks. Um, we had a, a very similar donation deck by Ganaris um, last week, and it it played really well. And so I'm thinking this one, will ho you know, hopefully it plays really well also. Yeah, I could see that. I. I'm, I'd am i have to say the thing I like the least, from just looking at the deck list and everything, the thing I like the least is playing four Nissas. Nissa's probably the card I like the least in the deck. I just, I basically, I, the reason why is I, d I don't like Nissa against Golos, uh, Field of the Dead. You know, like with all the sweepers they have and everything, I don't want them just destroying my lands and stuff like that. And like the three threes don't match up well against a horde of zombies. That's my least favorite card in the deck. Not sure if we have an opponent or not. We'll definitely keep no acceleration. Like we need more land drops and acceleration. But we have the once upon a time to find one of those, either more land drops or either another land drop or acceleration. Garrick's not so bad against Golos though, because Garrick's making you know two creatures a turn, and it's not like you're it's like Garrick's not making your you know not turning your lands into creatures as they get swept up. Like, I I like Garrick a lot more. For that matchup. So looking at this, we have 24 lands, and that's that's honestly probably a land short. So maybe the fourth Nissa needs to be a 25th land. I think I think 24 lands is a land short. Yeah. I didn't really look at that before. I kind of assumed we had 25. But I think we got to have 25 or, or 26. The two once upon a times are kind of like one land. But 
Hopefully we draw lands though. We just put we just put four spells down to the bottom. So hopefully we're drawing lands now. of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. Surely you must be famished. Yeah. I was considering turning the Stormfist Crusader into so an L class turn. Interested in. I don't want my opponent to draw extra cards. Oh dear. With them. With them missing a land drop. The risk here is if they kill my wicked wolf, they have they have enough damage to kill Oko now. And obviously I don't have I didn't make a a food for the wicked wolf to be indestructible. I'm going to keep them from drawing cards. And and yes, I am just going to block the Stormfist Crusader with Wicked Wolf. So I'm prioritizing them not getting card. Like I'm basically I'm prioritizing getting rid of Stormfist Crusader more than keeping Wicked Wolf. I could have, you know, made a food. My Wicked Wolf like isn't going to die. And they just have like their 2-2, two -two, but they're drawing more cards and they missed a land, you know, with them missing a land drop and everything. To play Questing Beast, I have to make a food. Don't have another green mana. Hey, Azel Azel. This allows me to pretty freely block with this other Gilded Goose. Not on the Foulmire Knight, but on the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Alright, well now obviously I don't have to because the Frass is just going to die. So that's kind of the plan. What is it? To get rid of the Vraska. Alright, plan. It's not poisoned. 
now is to have the Gilded Goose block the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Definitely considering turning the Knight of the Ebon Legion into a 3-3. Three, three. My plan right now is just to have the Gilded Goose block, and then if they want to kill my Goose, they can pay the 3 mana. That's something I don't mind them doing. But so, like, Foulmire Knight's not getting blocked. Questing Beast covers Midnight Reaper. Oh, no, Blue Dreams. I hadn't. I didn't see anybody trying that. I was going to do... I was going to put together... The Sultai, yeah, I could see Sultai working there. I was I was thinking about putting together Teamer. Uh, teamer Adventures <clears throat> with you know Brazen Borrower and. Bone Crusher Giant and, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, but Sultai, you get, you know, Sultai has, you know, it's better than Braze, better than Bone Crusher Giant. One ones are really annoying. That's a good draw. Surely you must be famished. I was thinking about just like trade, you know, having Oko do the minus five and trading. But obviously, I'm just gonna be playing this Garrick. Watch out! We are the apex predators. Garrick, awesome. Nissa. Average. No. The curse is affecting me more than I thought. My Garrick. Well, that's too bad. Welcome to the feast. Your demise was like... <sighs> Pity we couldn't have been allies. Yeah, I guess it could have been Ember Cleave there. That would have been a... Yeah, Ember Cleave would have been rough. Killing the questing beast and everything. All right, finally getting some land. Its loss will serve us. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. We're going to want to get these Disfigures in. Veil of Summer. I'm 
Not sure if I really want Assassin's Trophy. Mardu Knights. So it could just be Red Black Knights. I mean, they just played mono black against me, but their mana base was a little different. So basically, I don't, I don't think we need these two. All right, Nissa is definitely the card that I want to cut the most. But do we want to go down to zero Nissas? Like, would I, would I rather have like one Nissa over a Paradise Druid? Like Nissa, you know, like can make three threes over and over again, which could be nice. I could, you know, if we're having a game like where we're flooding out, like Nissa could be awesome. But honestly, I think I want all these other cards instead. Uh, Deckmaster should be up, Photon. So I should have Deckmaster up available, ready to go. Like be able to hover over the cards and everything. See what they are. Madi. Thanks for the resub. Madib. Thank you very much. Only one sub away from our sub goal today. From our first sub goal, at least. Ah, uh, you keep being destroyed by Yoko. You should play. You should be playing. Um, like the the best thing for you to be doing in in your Improbable Alliance Pyre, Iron Crag Pyromancer deck is to be playing Mystic Sanctuary. No, not that. I don't know whatever the new whatever the new blue counter spell is that you can counter a blue thing, and it only costs one mana. We played four of those in the Jeskai deck, and it was critical. And you know, we countered a lot of turn two Okos. So yeah, we had four in the main deck, and honestly, that's that's the card you need if you're struggling with. Struggling with Oko. Mystic Dispute. Mystical Dispute. That card. The other thing you can be doing is playing Sorcerer's Spy Glasses. That just get rid of them forever. Again, I do not want my opponent drawing more cards. Get rid of those. I'm at 12 and my opponent has not attacked me. I wish I would have had a Legion's End. But just shock, shock, shock. And then shock. Yes, they did. Yep. Yeah, whenever Nexus of Fate was banned, uh, even though it was only banned in best of one, they refund they gave everybody wild cards for it. Anybody who had it in their collection. So we had some good cards in there, you know, like I could have taken a questing beast, but I just want more mana for like this crisis. Hey, what's up, Boot? Thanks for that reset, Boot. 
Hope you're having a good weekend. Get us that sub goal. So we're just going to do six. Yep. There you go. Gotta have that recovery time for sure. Um, I don't know what they'll do. You know, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what they'll do if. All right, so they get to draw two cards if I block. I'm just gonna say no. Yeah, honestly, not sure what they're gonna do. If something's banned and then you open it up in a pack. In your eyes and spin you clarity. One bite and all your cares are gone. You know, with Nexus, you couldn't open up Nexus in packs anyway, so it wasn't... You know, it wasn't a big deal. Could you open up the ramp? Uh, at first, you could not open Rampaging Ferocidon, but then they, they actually they did end up changing that, so you could open up Rampaging Ferocidon later. But for at first, you weren't able to open it. Well, I guess it's because of Historic. Like, it's still... Yeah, like, if it's whatever card's banned in Standard, it'd still be legal and Historic, so, like, you'd... Theoretically, would still, you know, you still want it in your account, kind of thing, for that. This is going to be a really interesting uh, Monday announcement that we're going to have. I could really see so many different outcomes. Normally, with a banned and restricted announcement. You're like, you know, expecting nothing to change almost all, all the time. But then a couple of times you're expecting something to change. But here, I, I don't know. I'm down to eight. Steel. Attack. I'm down to four. Hmm. Life's about to end. Hope you're ready. Smile. I grow bored with this fight. Killing the knight, you know, like I'm I'm making them lose two life with the Midnight Reapers. If they, you know, want to block these things, they have to lose two life also. But 
That's that's them taking lethal. That that block's just lethal. They lose four life with their two midnight reapers dying, and they lose four life with Krasis. My opponent just. I guess they don't really have a d different option. Yeah, I guess they don't have a different option. <clears throat> so either way, like if they block or don't block, they're taking two from each of those. Yeah, so by forcing them to, to take two originally with the Golgari Queen, it was lethal. Well, good. I was thinking about stealing a, a Midnight Reaper, but I'm glad I didn't do that. Because <laughs> uh, they had to lose a life each time they drew a card. But yeah, <laughs> dying from too many cards is the best death ever. Yeah, I did like the, the Jeskai deck. The, the counter spells were really, really good. And Outlaw's Merry Mint was really impressive. Yeah, I liked it. Nothing wrong with Wicked Wolf, but I need land. We don't have enough land in the deck to keep it on top. I forgot to change that. I can't, I think we should add a land into this deck. Those blind to tyranny are lost. Surely you must be famished. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I think we should take out Anissa for a land. Welcome to the feast. Twenty four really isn't enough for this deck. Like twenty twenty six would make more sense than twenty four, but I think it, it can go. You know, twenty five will will work, especially with having the once upon a times. I see how it is. Because we have, you know, like, getting extra mana is not a problem for our deck. Yeah, I think Scion, yeah, I think Scion start at 5 loyalty. Tick up to 6. Oko starts at 4 and can tick up to 6. Oh! Uh, wrong thing. I didn't want to do that. <sighs> I wanted to turn the food into a three-three and have be able to, you know have two blockers for a wolf. I guess if I would have made a token into a 3-3, they would have bounced it, though. So it worked out. Hey, what's up, Space? Thanks for that resub. Vivian's kind of impossible to beat. Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to it. <laughs> Stomping time. Those creatures have trample. I we can't save Oko. Lack of presence. I 
mean, we just might as well do four instead of five because they're going to kill it anyway with Vivian. And by going four, we get to play Gilded Goose. Picked the wrong fight. Are we supposed to play Veil vale Summer? But yeah, Epic Downfall is perfect against, yeah, get to Exile, Wicked Wolf, Grasp, kill those Planeswalkers, Disdainful Stroke, of course. So what's supposed to come out now? We're supposed to take out Questing Beast? I mean, it. I don't think so. Like, it still did a good job, even though it got eaten by Wicked Wolf. You know, obviously drawing a bunch of Gilded Goose and Paradise Druid in the late game isn't what we want, but I, I don't know if we want to take out more of them. You've been trimming on Wolves and Vraska when you play this kind of matchup. The Wolves seem pretty important. Vraska kills Oko. No, those are those are not two cards I want to trim on. I'll trim on a Paradise Druid. And a Once Upon a Time and I guess another Nissa. Maybe a Beast over a Nissa. Go three beast to Nissa. Temple. Keep. Stop. Revel with your king, wild and soft one by well, that's bad. And all your cares are gone. They can attack with Oko first now. Okay. That's not so bad. Because we have the epic downfall for that. <clears throat> but I guess if I do epic downfall that. Yeah, let's just let's turn it into a 3 3. So they could have a wicked wolf to. Kill my Oko. Darn it. I was going to say, that's the, that's the very best card they could have there was Wicked Wolf. They did. If I, if I Epic Downfall, then they could have, you know, like another Questing Beast. I see you don't share my vision. That was bad. It's 
it more important to get a second island or a second swamp? I have so many geese. Second swamp gives us murderous rider. So answer swamp. in unison with the wild. That's not good. We're fit enough to survive. Sorry, there's a little bug. I will aid you. Rise, my elemental friend. Can we stay alive? Can we stay alive? Minus five, okay. It's usually like Ceratops, Voracious Hydra, could be a- Arkbo, bring me an ally. All right, Hydra. So good call, I like it. That'll help us out because, like, now, you know, like, these get to trade with Questing Beast. Our Golgari Queen can eat the Hydra. Alright, look, looking good for Nissa Ult right now. It's a good draw. Its pain is our gain. It's another good draw. Oh, 
All right. So tro Trophy does help us take out Vivian. Looking right now, Vivian's a little tough. I mean, we got five removal spells for Vivian with the Noxious Grass Murderous Rider. Maybe that's enough. All right, here we go. Yeah, Golgari Queen is is really nice right now with all these three mana planeswalkers. And then even even yeah, like the bigger creatures like Krasis and Voracious Hydra that are technically two mana. I guess I probably should have just ditched an overgrown tomb. We don't really need the third green source. They're on five. Yay, no Oko. Yeah, I should have put back an overgrown tomb. Dark Dubs. Second month. Thank you so much for that. So continued support, Dark Dubs. You are awesome. Thank you very much. Wealth sub of the day. Uh, now I have to click like OK to everything because you can sack this this food. All right, rough mana for our opponent there. All right, we're two and oh, it's twelfth sub of the day. Yeah, deckmaster is up. Yeah, as far as I know, Deckmaster's working. Striker Bow! Thanks for keeping on your streak as well. Thanks, Striker Bow. Yeah, let's add a land. I think this deck could use another land. So I think we should take out a Nissa, add in a land. Now, what that land should be... We have four green-black temples... So if we play a green blue temple. It should definitely be blue mana. Wow, we have hardly any blue mana. I guess turn two Oko, you have the Gilded Goose that adds blue mana anyway. And there is hardly any blue mana in the deck. It's just it's just like, you know, you just want your blue mana for Oko. So I think it's either I'm thinking like blue green temple or just another basic forest. Yeah, I think I think we want to go with one of those two, either a blue green temple or just another basic forest. Yeah, we only I guess we only have ten total blue cards in the whole deck. <laughs> That's not very many. All right, let's just go with another basic forest then. Yeah, Paradise Druid also adds blue too. Okay, uh, let's update that deckless command.
Three Nessa, four Forest. Yeah, we'll just keep a couple of birdies. Hey, box of rocks. Hello. So hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully we draw something to play next turn. I don't. I don't want to play. Like I'm not going to play Crisis next turn. We're gonna wait. You know, until turn four, where we can draw two cards with Krasis. We're not going to play Krasis where we only draw one card. If we don't draw anything, we'll just be activating Goose. Looks like I could uh, Legion's end here. Oh, we do something. Revelers. Nope. Ceratops. Hellkite. Embercleave. So we can do eight. I was going to even be able to shock and then play a Paradise Shard there. That was kind of ridiculous. Yeah, turn three Nyssa with also Legion's End. Let me see your whole hand and everything and exile your creature. And then turn four, make an 8 8 flyer that draws four cards. Zedalam! Thanks, Zedalam. Thank you so much there. All right, so green, red stuff. Noxious Grasp, for sure. Epic Downfall, yeah. Disdainful Stroke, maybe. Yeah, so Stroke and Trophy, those are a couple babies. Yeah, they are Jund. Yeah, maybe they're trying to go Regisaur, Embercleave. That sounds like something my opponent's trying to do. There's not a whole lot of big creatures. I do like Nissa in this matchup. Let's try this. Ah, uh, thanks, Adalam. Down, 
Growth Chamber Guardian. I think that's worth it to Noxious Grasp this thing so they don't just get a bunch more of them. We got more removal. So I think that's worth it. Looks like we're going to be doing a whole lot of shocking here, though. Going down to 15. Thirteen. Right. Eleven. So I'm not attacking there so that they have to discard. You know, like, if these just trade... You know, like, I could attack, they block, and they trade, and then they don't have to discard. If I... Do this. Yeah. And we're going to die to... Like, if they know they're going to be Ember Cleaving, they're just not going to block anyway. <clears throat> yeah, that's a, a Jund Ember Cleave. That's what they're trying to do there. So I wasn't really punished by not attacking because they're just not going to block. Yeah, let's see if this... I think I'm going to cast Once Upon a Time on turn two. I think I'm just going to play, like, I could, you know, maybe grab a goose to play goose on turn one. But honestly, I don't think I really even want a goose on turn one because then I, I don't really have, you know, I'd have to go like Jungle Hollow turn two. So I'm just going to play Jungle Hollow, take my draw step, have more information for turn two whenever I cast this. And of course, I need to cast it before the Paradise Druid, though. All right, a whole bunch of spells down to the bottom. So hopefully that means we're going to draw lands. But we got Oko next turn. Oko is awesome for us. Shock and pass. Sure looks like a noxious grasp to me. Yeah, so it just turned the Regisaur into a 3-3. Oko is just brutal, as I've said many times. You want to play creatures? You just can't in this format with Oko. Just can't play creatures. Your creature has to be like a removal spell when it enters, like Wicked Wolf or Have Haste. And that's it. Otherwise, you can't play it. It's unfortunate. 
Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I updated display settings. As far as I know. Yeah, so that's why just playing Planeswalk like that's why Planeswalkers are really valuable right now. Because Golos is trying to just play a whole lot of sweepers. And Oko turns everything into three threes also. And so playing creatures against those things, not too valuable. So do I want to Fable Passage and grab Swamp or play a Breeding Pool? Do we want to lead with the beast or the queen? What are they playing over here? Like Golgari Adventure? I kind of want to lead with Golgari Queen. Golgari Queen in here. Cause they didn't play like a questing beast last turn. I grow bored with this fight. So, like that's a good trade for me. That's not good for me though. But that's not a good trade for me. I meant that's just not a good card for me to see because, you know, Innkeeper Witness the ties that bind us all. can draw a lot of cards. True power. We all knew Risen Reef wasn't really good enough at three mana. We had to make Risen Reef one mana. One mana is more fair than three. Yep, one mana, definitely fair. Okay, so we have two for Krasis, and then two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's just do ten. We don't have to use this treasure, or whatever this thing is, a food. Speaking of things that are fair, that's definitely fair. <laughs> Nessa Crisis is definitely fair too. 
No. That's fair. Okay. Front takes a look at the hand. This can't really deal with that. And that's it. So what do we want to do against Golgari Adventures? I definitely want to play the Veil of Summers. But I kind of feel like that's it. Disfigures a uh, maybe. Disfigures a... Uh, I could see playing that. Yeah, green is so good right now. Maybe just the Veil of Summers. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to take out one Paradise Druid. I, I honestly don't know what else to take out. I want to play the rest of these cards. I want to keep Legion's End in. I don't see anything here I want to take out. So I mean, I guess I could just take out Anissa, but I think Nissa's, I think this is a really good matchup for Nissa. Could take out a Questing Beast, I guess. Maybe it's just that. Maybe it's just Questing Beast. You think they should get rid of Nissa? I don't know. Nissa's not. I mean, Nissa is kind of obnoxious, but honestly, I I think that that Krasis would be a better card to get rid of than Nissa. All right, maybe this shouldn't have been Keep. Very slow. I like Wicked Wolf, but we already got three four drops. Four four drops. <clears throat> we don't need a fifth. Legion's end. All right, see you, QQ. So it looks like they did not have the land for... <clears throat> yeah, it looks like they, they were missing the land for the Lovestruck Beast. All right, so we get to kill Risen Reef before they get to draw more cards. That's good. It's time to step out of the shadow. Oh, pity we couldn't have been allies. I haven't played against Field of the Dead in a long time. Or people are kind of tired of it. Don't flatter yourself.
they may be sitting with, yeah, so they're probably sitting with Murderous Rider and want to... Want to be able to kill my questing beast and then attack back with theirs. And so I didn't want to let them know that I was going to have a food token to be able to make the Wicked Wolf a 4-4. Four -four first before making that attack. Yeah, I've liked the Druid more than Growth Spiral in, in this specific list. Huh. I guess if they have another removal spell, I try sacking the food. I think it's worth it. Keep the life. So we're going to want to play Krasis next turn. Now they don't have the removal for Krasis now. So we got... So we can go like Krasis for five. Not really a reason to go Krasis for five, except for this Love Struck Beast, I suppose. We'll just do four, though, be able to have the Paradise Druid back as a blocker for some reason as well. <laughs> Is it the Wicked Wolf because he eats all your food out of the fridge? Absolutely. Yep, moved up the band announcement to tell you the format's great and nothing will be banned. So this all checks out here. Looks good. Alright, so Death Touch deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. It's not good. Whoa. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15 minus 2 is 13. We'll just trim one off. Go down to 12. Fair magic. Fair 
deadly broken magic. That a win, that's a win. Four and O. Oh. Well, the Sultai deck's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good here. <clears throat> Fried Jamin. Jamin, Yaman, I'm not sure, but Fried, thank you so much for the sub and the 4-0 hype. I appreciate that. And that's our 15th sub of the day. All right, last match here with Soltai Midrange. We're going to... We're going to go ahead and uh, give this a try. See if we can get that weasel back red cap. That elusive 5 0 we're going for. Going for that elusive 5 0. Okay, it's jamming. It's a fried jamming. All right, there we go. Hmm. I guess I could have the the three one that gives a death touch. had Black Lands Paragon. That was the card I was thinking about. to watch kings grovel and worms rule. So yes, I, so if I wicked if I go wicked wolf here, my opponent wish. would black lance paragon give their their knight death touch and you know, I would have had to use the food token to cast wicked wolf. So wicked wolf would have just traded with knight. That I mean if by doing that though, that means they're not going to be able to ember cleave. At all. That was the the scenario. I was hoping that we could go one turn without them having the mana for that. You're blind to your folly. May we meet again. Or not. All right. So they got one card in hand, and they have an Ember Cleave in play, and we have Nissa Crisis. That's a good card to have. Uh, it's, it's okay. Down to eight. 
into the magnificent world. Behold, nature's true power. I guess if I would have gone on forest, I could have made it um, a food. All right, disfigures in. I like having these disfigures. I feel like we played against this before. I just brought in the two disfigures. Ugh, and I cut a druid and a beast. I feel like that's what I did. We played against it last time. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if it was the same opponent or not. I don't know. In the same kind of deck. By shock turn one, I'm gonna have to do a whole lot of shocking. I could keep my life total higher by just kind of playing behind a turn. I could like lead with temple, and then on turn two play Gilded Goose and tap land. And I could I could just you know like basically play behind a whole turn, and then I keep my life total high. Otherwise, I'm like shock. You know, I could shock for Goose, shock for Druid. And then I wouldn't have to shock for Beast. I guess we're doing that. If we're on the play, we could probably do the play behind a turn, but probably not on the draw. I think we have to just lose the life, gain the tempo. Yeah, Nissa, really good against the aggro deck for sure. Shocklands didn't exactly help us out. I'm surprised they pumped the veteran. The veteran was the worst card to pump. Like they should have pumped the Heaven Legion. But all good. I wonder if they got Emberclee too. Number cleave. Uh, the, the meta is very probably like, you know the question is is the meta more based on control or aggro? Definitely not control. It's like aggro and mid range. There's not very much control. Yeah, ramp ramp is honestly the, like the biggest stuff. Like the Simic decks are, you know, playing like their mana creatures trying to ramp, and obviously Golas is trying to ramp a lot.
If they would have just had the Fervent Champion pump the Knight of the Ebon Legion, then they wouldn't have had to spend the mana on it. Then they could have played the other Acclaim Contender, and then I'd be dead. That's a good find. All right, we'll get to be on the play here, and I don't think my opponent's going to have that perfect of a hand again. They had one drop into Lord, into Haste one drop plus removal spell for turn three. I don't think they're going to have that kind of one, two, three again. I didn't have any mana to sacrifice food. I mean, I could have, like, yeah, I guess I could have just gone Nissa, make a 3-3, three, three, and then and have the food sack open. That that probably is a better line than just playing the Krasis as a 3-3 three, three and gaining a little bit of life. Yeah. Yeah, I, I should have done that line. Yep, I took the wrong, wrong, took the wrong line there. We would have had a chump. Still, but I could have survived that turn. Um, if I shock in for Goose, I'm not doing anything on turn two. So I, so it's like, what's the point of shocking in for Goose if I'm not going to play anything on turn two anyway? This still gets us to the same point on turn two, and I didn't. I didn't have to pay two life. So I could have gone Oko, Disfigure, or just play get the Wicked Wolf and play. a little bit more land here eventually. Yeah, 1080 is what I always stream on because to reduce the, the lag, but whenever I was searching my library for some reason it 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 changed and it flipped to 1440. You know, like it I don't know if you noticed, but it kinda uh, flashed in and out and then it switched to 1440 so I just switched it back to 1080. Follow in your deceit. All right, so we're going to play Paradise Druid and make a food with the goose.
Midnight Reaper. Down to eight. I can help you no longer. Well, that was an Oko and a bunch of lands. Yeah, Legion sends to sorcery. So not really sure if I'm supposed to trade off the forest. I think I'd be more comfortable trading off the forest after <laughs> taps with my black source when I have a black spell in hand. But anyway, I think I'd be more comfortable trading off the forest after the Midnight Reaper is off the battlefield so my opponent doesn't get to draw more cards. stop Embercleave if that's their last card. Obviously my plan is to Legions and the Veteran. They don't have lethal though. So they're if their last card's Embercleave, they're I think they're kinda dead. Yeah they just if their last card's Embercleave they just put themselves dead. I guess they're not realizing because they knew everything so they know I'm going to get rid of that and I have 8 damage alright 5 and 0 oh, over in Mythic it's not even 5-0 oh Friday it's Saturday okay mm-hmm <laughs> What do you think, Hawkeye? We have 5 0. It won't open. There it goes, finally. That was weird. It wasn't it wasn't opening. GG's. Okay, so yeah. 5 0 in Mythic with Sultai Midrange. Pretty awesome there. Yeah, the deck is just the deck felt really good. I mean, I think that getting that extra land instead of the Nissa was was a really good change. Um, but yeah, Nissa's I mean, Krasis is just an, an incredible. Oko's incredible. We have you know, I like I like our removal. Um, I liked having the disfigures against some of these aggro decks that are running around. I think that's a nice card to have. Epic Downfall looked pretty good against other Wicked Wolves. Um, you know, it looks good there, and you know, like it can get rid of Golos, for example. 
yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't really see anything to change uh, right there. <laughs> Thanks, QQ. Thanks to the Terminator. Cheer with that bonus there. Um, but yeah, another another five win in the book. Yeah, so I mean, this is this looks pretty strong. I think like maybe the fourth Paradise Druid could be something else. Like maybe you only need three Paradise Druid. Like that was the card that I was taking out all the time uh, when I was sideboarding. You know, I was, I was cutting like the fourth Paradise Druid. But that was also whenever I was bringing in. I was bringing in a lot of other two mana spells though. Whenever I was doing that. Um, yeah, I mean, just, you know, fill, filling your deck with, filled with, you know, mythics. And, I mean, Nissa should be a mythic, but, you know, basically rares and mythics. What can go wrong? We have, we have Paradise Druid is the only non-rare or mythic in the deck. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, maybe switch, switch the amount of, I accidentally, like, it, it lag clicked one of those out. Maybe switch Questing Beast Wicked Wolf. It depends. If, if they're still, like, the more small creatures become to be, you know, more of a thing in the metagame, yeah, like having a fourth Wicked Wolf, third Questing Beast instead, you could switch around those two. I could see that. The more people move, like, Questing Beast is awesome against Golos and Control, but the more people move away from Golos and Control and are playing other Oko decks, you know, like, you want you want the Wicked Wolves to be able to kill the Gilded Gooses, and everything and beast just gets turned into a three three by Oko. And yeah, people are gonna pick up on, you know, Mardu Knights. You know, we played against Mardu Knights twice there. That looks to be a, a popular deck. I think somebody said earlier, you know, I've been I've been playing so I didn't see, but I think somebody said earlier and made top eight of the Mythic Championship this weekend, uh just a little while ago. And so maybe people are playing that deck. You want another Wicked Wolf. So that's that's definitely a, a change I could see making his fourth wolf third beast by just like the the sheer card questing beast is a lot better but with the metagame with oko turning questing beast into a three three and then people playing small creatures for you to, to kill with wicked wolf and makes the wolf better all right but yeah that's that's it that's soul time midrange pretty awesome deck here if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And, of course, leave some comments. If you're going to try this deck out yourself, uh, let me know how it goes for you over there on YouTube. Um, and also, if you like my videos, please check out my Patreon page. It's it's new. Um, it's $3 a month if you like to help support uh, my YouTube videos and everything for watching over there. It's just $3 a month. And I'm also going to be writing, uh, making, like, kind of like blog post type things, you know, writing content over there, answering questions, uh, putting up sideboard guides, all that kind of stuff over on Patreon. Um, so there we go. So uh, check that out. The link's down below uh, in, the inf in the info uh, of the video, uh, the video description, but it's also just patreon.com slash Todd Stevens MTG, just like everything. Uh, but that's it for Soul Time Midrange. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.